I just want to have a normal prom. Tonight is about fun. There's a force field surrounding the entire school and we're all trapped in here. That force field is impenetrable. This energy field is going to incinerate everyone in about three minutes. This is Grant Gustin from The Flash. Don't miss a new episode this Wednesday at 8, 7 central on The CW. Now a 10 run down on the way to work. Two brothers on bicycles are struck by a speeding car. One left to die in the street. Tonight, the manhunt for that driver. Plus, L.A. County Sheriff Alex Villanueva takes aim at the L.A. Times after a reporter released details of an alleged cover-up involving video of a deputy kneeling on the neck of an inmate. And water shortage emergency. Officials order unprecedented restrictions limiting outdoor watering to once a week. Now on the News at 10. Good evening, I'm Micah Ullman. And I'm Cher Calvin. Two brothers riding their bikes to work are run down by a speeding driver. One of the men is left to die in the street. Tonight, a manhunt is underway for that driver as a community comes together in grief. Mary Beth McDade live in Koreatown at the scene of the deadly crash. MB. Oh, Mike and Jared just truly is so heartbreaking. And the victim is being remembered tonight as a hard worker who... <laughs> Walter Asip breaks down as he talks about his older brother, Leo. He says 39-year-old Leo was a very calming force in his life and like a father to him. Every day you bike to work? Yeah, I am. The two brothers were riding their bikes down Olympic to work at Paris Baguette in Koreatown around 3.30 Tuesday morning when, as you can see in this security video, a white SUV runs into them and then keeps on going. Wilder wasn't hurt, but Leo wasn't so lucky. Wilder then watched as his brother died on Olympic Boulevard near Mariposa Avenue. Police say the white SUV involved in that hit and run was a stolen white Jeep Cherokee. Uh, the suspect of the, uh, of the, who's driving the vehicle, uh, was, as he drove away, collided with two uh, individuals who were on bicycles. Um, unfortunately, one of the, uh, the victims of the, uh, the collision succumbed to his injuries. Family and friends have been gathering back at the scene to honor Leo, while his co-workers and customers remember him as a hard-working gentleman. He's a very nice gentleman. Very nice. Yeah, he, he's, uh, yeah, he's very nice. Police are still searching for the hit and run driver who they tell us may have been involved in another grand theft auto incident. Police tell us the victim of that unrelated incident spotted the suspect parked along Olympic Boulevard this morning. They say he hopped on the hood of the white Jeep Cherokee and then fell off as the SUV sped away and then smashed into the brothers. Truly unfortunate, these, these two individuals just trying to go to work in the morning, trying to just to make their way living like everybody else does in the city. And unfortunately, their day started like this. And back here live now at the scene, while well, these two brothers are from Guatemala, a GoFundMe page has been set up to raise funds to transport Leo's body back to their family in their home country. For now, reporting live here in Koreatown, Mary Beth McDade, we'll send back to you guys in the studio. Mary Beth, thank you. The investigation into this jailhouse takedown leads to a showdown between the L.A. County Sheriff, the L.A. Times, and members of his own department. L.A. County Sheriff Alex Villanueva denies being part of any cover-up involving that violent encounter. In fact, he's launching his own investigation into how the video got leaked to the media. KTLA 5's John Benolio is live downtown with the video, the claims, and the counter charges. John? Well, Sharon, Micah, that's right. The sheriff is again disputing allegations filed in a damage claim uh, that was presented against the county earlier this week, presented by one of his own commanders. The sheriff is also taking aim at the LA Times, saying the video we're about to show you was obtained illegally. This is entirely orchestrated for political purposes only. L.A. County Sheriff Alex Villanueva once again denying allegations he and other top members of his department orchestrated a cover-up of a violent incident involving a deputy's use of force last year. Fearing bad publicity, LASD covered a case of deputy who knelt on inmate's head. Wow. This is a false headline right there. This surveillance video.